I just finished getting all 15 achievements in Fusion Paradox under 4 hours. This game is a potentially easy 3000 gamer score if you buy all 3 stacks, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, and the Windows Store version. There can't really be a step by step walkthrough for it. Since the nature of this game is a twin stick action roguelite and each time you die the floors are randomly generated and I think that's for each time you play the game too. If you start it up I don't know if every floor is going to be the same for everyone the first time. There's really nothing to miss except breaking the 10 crystals. Those will be scattered over the various rooms and floors. You'll most likely get it without even trying. The crystals are red and you'll see them. If you see one you'll know what they look like. The one for opening 13 spell chests was the last one I needed. During gameplay while swapping between your yellow and blue energy states there will be some statues that appear in rooms. Uh, that once you find an emblem close by on the wall and shoot that, it'll transfer you to a special hidden puzzle room that once you complete the puzzle, it grants you a colored key for a chest that's somewhere else on the floor. What's nice about this is if you collect all keys on the floor and then die, you get to keep the keys on other runs and you'll just have to find the chests that are in different spots. I would recommend trying to find most of them during your run of the five levels. The puzzles in those rooms besides one that dealt with a grandfather clock I found were very easy to figure out and if you don't want to finish the puzzle you can just come back to it later. You'll get most of the majority of the achievements just playing the game. Beating each boss, swapping colors 50 times, killing 500 enemies, dying once, open a chest, get a key, complete training. Fusion Paradox has difficulty options. Uh, yes, you can play on easy to grab every achievement. Hopefully, the game gives you good weapons like it did for me. I've got a, both an RPG and a missile launcher. Uh, with those, I was just one-shotting everything and with the splash damage, you can kill multiple enemies. Sometimes you can kill enemies that are the in the different state. Or the, sometimes you can kill the enemies that are invisible because they're in a different state than you. And the enemies that spawn uh, multiple enemies once they get hit, you can just kill them all outright. If you don't have the right weaponry or enough ammo or health, the five bosses could pose somewhat of a threat. It is easy to explore the whole floor before warping to the boss room. A lot of rooms have warp points, so if you clear one side, you don't have to backtrack all the way. You could just warp back to the closest one. One of the bad thing is if you die without being the game you have to go back to square one so floor one. While annoying the game isn't too long so explore grab upgrades and abilities and hopefully good weapons. You can find shops to get more weapons shields or ammo. It all just depends what the game spawns in those shops for you. I would have liked to see more achievements here. Maybe we can have one that had Explore a whole floor, dodge X number of projectiles, or maybe clear a room without taking damage. For what the game is, the achievement list we got is serviceable and it's always welcome when you have to beat the game. Fusion Paradox is coming out November 1st on everything. It's been on PC for a while. It's $10, but at least on Xbox it has a pre-order discount until launch day. If you're looking for a decent little game for some sweet gamer score and you don't need to follow a guide for it, give this one a go.